Dr. Cho Kim here. We are getting started to treat this very sneaky far lateral disc protrusion. Looks almost invisible on standard cuts, but if you look really closely, look at that right there. You can clearly see that protrusion. It's in the foramen right next to the DRG. We've confirmed that's the pain generator through a targeted injection and it continues to prevent her from living an active life because life is short. We don't have time to be in pain. And she decided to proceed with surgery. And of course, in this case, we'll do the most minimal invasive surgery possible, the less procedure. It's basically knee arthroscopy, but in the spine. And eventually, I think everyone will do the surgery like this. Whoop, there it is. There's a really prominent annular tear in the front too, but the front doesn't matter because there's no nerves up there. Shot. But it's a reflection of the health of the disc. Now you can really see the tear. Oh, that's a big tear. Now, that doesn't count because I just went in there, but still. That, look at that. That's the empty tent sign. Out here, very far lateral. It's really firm like a hockey puck. It's not perfect. It's a little loose, so I think this is part of the problem. And then right here in the foramen, I just happen to have gone in there at the same time. It is so pathetic. The true empty tent sign right there. And then look, this looks like it's about to, I don't know, squirt out like a hot pimple. And all these adhesions and blood vessels, another sign of chronic inflammation. Okay, this is where I went in. And look at it, it's like an empty cavity in here. I didn't even do anything, it's just empty. This should be dense, crisscrossing collagen fibers. Here is the disc protrusion annular tear in all its glory. Look at that. That should all be totally white. And I bet you when I release this little band, something's gonna come flying out of here. Look at how it's delaminating the, the line up above. There's a middle normal section and then the deep kagapupu section. And there's probably something right there in that, behind that white wall. Oh my God, yeah, I can feel it. It's right here. You poor thing. It makes sense because this the delamination goes all the way across. So I'm not going be surprised if you have left-sided back pain too. And I haven't even gotten to this part yet. I'm still working underneath right there. You can see there's something right here. Peace come flying out. So gratifying. We're making some serious headway though. I think I've gotten all the loose pieces almost. And the, the last step was to go inside the canal and release all the nerves. That's gonna make a lot of bleeding, so I save that for last. That's what we call a Goomba. On the other side of that bubbly fat is the, where the nerves are. This is the salt and pepper. There's the exit nerve root, right there at three o'clock, right there. Look at my hand. You have to be like a contortionist. And you have to have... Yes. Thank you very much. I love the way you're thinking. Okay, all done. So there's the canal inside there. You can get in easily. That's the top edge of the delaminated annulus, but it's intact. That's the exiting nerve root right there. Right there. Ooh, look away. It doesn't even like to be looked at. And all this was the disc herniation. This whole thing right here. This huge area is like a little mountain. And then inside here was a ton of loose fragments. But not anymore. Now all the nerves are released too. So I'm really expecting a great result because I found some really good badness in there. I was able to take care of it. So we're all praying for you. Surgery's all done. Look how adorable that little poke hole is. This is the most expensive band-aid on the planet. I'm being facetious. <laughs> but it's skin toned and it's almost like nothing happened. I found so much good, bad stuff that I'm really expecting a great result and we're all praying for a speedy recovery, so best wishes.